Well, I am honored to rise with Senator Chambliss and pay tribute to a great Georgian and a great friend of the United States of America and a great veteran of the United States Army. Colonel Frank Norton was quite an extraordinary man. Senator Chambliss said upon graduation he went to Vietnam. In Vietnam, he took one of the most dangerous missions of all and did it superbly, decorated nine times. Returned here and throughout his career served the United States Congress, United States Senate, and the people of the United States in many, many ways. Frank Norton's a very unique individual. When he left military service and left service to the House and Senate liaison committees, he formed a partnership with his old friend Bob Hurt from Georgia. And they formed a firm called Hurt and Norton. And they were quite a team, always jovial, always hardworking, always on target, always delivering for their clients. And their clients were always the state of Georgia. Our biggest economic asset in Georgia is our Port of Savannah, and they represented the port. Our coastline is one of the most valuable areas of Georgia, and they represented our coastline. And most importantly of all, in the critical days of Fort Stewart, they recommend, re represented Fort Stewart and the Hinesville community to see to it that the needs of our soldiers were met, and Hinesville, the city that hosted them, their needs were met as well. Frank died on the tennis court with his young son, Lee. Tonight, I send my regrets to his wife, Carol, to Lee and to all his family, but I also send my praise, my praise for a great Georgian and a great American who sacrificed in so many ways for this country, and I know now rest in peace looking down upon all of us in heaven. I yield back my time. Mr. President.